If you will play from a copy of a two-minute choppy, you'll get all my applause. And that is perfectly because I want to listen to So, some signs of dental disease. So, the signs can be like change in food choices. Oh, they stopped eating their greens, but they're eating their pellets, or vice versa. Or they're eating the pellets and greens, but not the hay. Um, or they're just eating less. So, that's significant if there's any change in appetite or if they stop eating. You know, they come running up to the food and they're like, oh, yeah, no, I don't feel like eating today, or they're just not even eating at all. So, they can move their mouth funny, um, where just kind of going like this, um, they can have, they can continue chewing even though they're not eating. They just keep chewing because maybe something's stuck in there or bothering them. They sometimes will drop food from their mouth, like they'll pick it up and kind of work on it for a while and then it just drops out. You know, something's uncomfortable, something's not right in there. And sometimes there's no signs and your rabbit acts totally normal and you think, oh, you know, I should probably get him an exam, it has been a few years. And we look in the mouth and we go, oh my God, you know, and I've had rabbits who their teeth have gotten so bad they're all rotten out, and yeah, and we're like, how are they eating? So, so yeah, so that's why we also do recommend yearly wellness exams so we can monitor their teeth. Some rabbits, we may see um, dental disease in the first couple of years of their life, and that's maybe a little bit more genetics. But then if you're starting to see dental issues like after three, four, five years of age or even closer to seven, then that might be, you know, a lifetime of just... A little bit too much pellets and greens and not enough hay. And so, so we'll still see, you know, I just saw another rabbit the other day, hadn't been in for four years, and his teeth had been fine when we saw him four years ago, and now he's seven and he's got some dental issues. They're minor, but, but still. So, um, so we're starting, and then it's just going to be a problem for the rest of their life. And that's the thing is once dental disease starts in these guys, it's for the rest of their life. So... And so here on our pictures, this, I'm not sure if you could see it well, here's the nose and the mouth. And so this is a speculum holding the lips apart. And then this is the first upper left molar, and it's curving towards the cheek. And so that is pretty long. It's about three or four times longer than normal. So, and then this is pretty obvious. His lower incisor is way too long. This is really subtle. His lower incisors are in front of his upper incisors, where this, they should be behind. So very, very subtle signs, pretty obvious signs, something's going on, little tusks coming out. All right, so more, another uh, sign of dental disease is you can have tearing of the eyes. Some people think it's an eye infection or, you know, uh, what, ended up hap what ends up happening is the molar roots or the incisor root is inflamed and pushing up on the tear duct. And I think we have a picture of the tear duct on the next slide. Um, and so the, the tears, instead, the eye's always making tears, so instead of the tears going down the duct into the nose and mouth, the tears come out. And so that's why you'll get a lit, mild discharge, kind of a mild to moderate discharge. This is pretty significant. It's been going on for a while. We're getting some infection of the skin here. And sometimes that can be really bad and get all scabbed up. And then this is actually an abscess that's also caused eye discharge and so that's a, a, an abscess of the upper jaw. So I guess I have it on a different x-ray. So okay, so another... Um, Another sign of dental disease can be a bulging eye. And so if you look here, so yeah, we have some eye discharge and some redness, but if you, he's pretty, his face is pretty squared, but here's his eye here, and here's his eye way up here. Okay, so it's up and out. And then it's also, this is a pretty straight view of his face. We can barely see his right eye, but his left eye is bulging. Okay, now this is usually because of an abscess behind the eye. In very, very small number of cases, we've seen tumors behind the eye. But like 99% of the time, it's been an abscess. If both eyes are bulging, then you want to think of maybe a mass in the chest. But if it's one eye bulging, there's something behind that eye that's pushing it out. And this is where a CT scan is extremely helpful. So if you guys can't handle gross pictures, turn away and I'll tell you when to look again. Okay, especially when it comes to eyes. Eyes can be pretty gross. I mean, look at that eye bulging out there. 
like so. And then this one, when it bulges out so much, they can't blink over the eye, and the cornea gets really dry and dehydrated and dried out and, and get a lot of crust on it. Now, sometimes we can save the eye, but we might not save vision. Okay, I will get off the slide. Okay, it's safe. <laughs> so, another sign of dental disease, jaw swelling. So, as you can see, sometimes it can be quite large here and here. But even then, if this was furred and you weren't petting your bunny on the face, you'd miss that until it got really big. So, and this is pretty obvious here. Um, and this one also wasn't that obvious. So, you know, that's why I do recommend that people, you know, when you're petting your bunny, you know, you can feel up here, but also if you can feel under the jaw regularly and just make sure that you're not feeling a bump on one side that's not on the other. Okay. So, this rabbit, I actually ended up taking her in this, was Velcro. She, her abscess was so bad, she needed three surgeries. Yeah, and then she lived the rest of her life for many years, so. Yes? Will it feel like a hard or soft? Sometimes hard, sometimes soft, okay? Um, sometimes if it's, if it's filled with pus, then it'll be more soft feeling. Um, if it's bone pushing down because of pus inside it or pus throughout the bone, then it'll feel hard. I wanna listen to, I wanna listen to, I wanna listen to a rabbit.